The World Health Organization has recommended the withdrawal of Stavudine as first-line treatment for HIV and AIDS as the drug has been associated with irreversible long-term side effects. It's known to cause a disfigurement. Actually, it causes a destruction of fat in various parts of the body. The drug is still widely used in developing countries as first-line therapy for HIV because it is cheap. The government says it will take up to three years to phase out Stavudine due to the high cost of the new and less toxic drug Tenofovir. In the short to medium term, Stavudine continues to be an important ARV drug in Kenya. In the new guidelines set out by WHO, all patients will now have to be initiated early on the ARVs for treatment and like in the past when a patient was put on the drugs when the CD4 count got to 250. People acquire uh, better quality of life and you also prevent development of opportunistic infections. This means that more of AIDS patients will need the drugs and as a result put a heavy burden on government hospitals to provide the drugs. Therefore, even if you're talking of doubling, it is not a question of doubling this year or doubling next year. It is a matter of time. We have to give time. The government will need to double its budget on ARVs despite the fact that its HIV funds have almost run dry. Helen Kimaru, Citizen TV.